Hello everyone, this is Enrique Castellanos with the original X-Level Gaming Podcast, bringing to you our video game review of the game Beyond Eyes. Beyond Eyes is developed by Tiger and Squid and published by Team 17. The game was released on the Xbox One on August 4th, 2015, PC August 11th, 2015, and recently on September the 8th, 2015 on the PlayStation 4. Now the game is a very creative game. It's probably one of the more visually creative experiences that I've had um, in my three decades of gaming. And the game actually features the main character, Ray, who you see here. She's a young lady who uh, recently was um, became blind uh, due to a fireworks accident, and that's actually um, uh, displayed in the beginning of the game. And so she actually discovers a cat uh, that's uh, made uh, their way or uh, to her house and the cat actually grabs her attention and kind of um, really allows her to kind of escape her comfort zone if you will uh, and actually uh, allows Ray to go on a uh, on an uh, adventure of sorts uh, to find this cat um, and you'll see as the game as she walks and she hears and she's using her sense of hearing to compensate for the loss of her sense of vision you'll see the screen kind of fills in with the um, the landscape of where she's walking uh, and this is where the developers done a great job uh, and really kind of um, almost mimicking what it potentially might be like for someone to lose their uh, sense of vision and only have to rely on their sense of hearing. Uh, the colors uh, are pastel, look like watercolors when they're kind of being painted in and filled in. And to me, this is this is the strong part of the game. This is uh, the best part of this particular um, this particular game. I, I think it's very visually creative. Uh, it's it's almost breathtaking to look at at times as well. Now, the uh, one thing about this game, um, and this is probably where it, um, outside of the visuals and uh, the great audio I might add too, um, the game doesn't really do a great job of really kind of captivating you and kind of keeping you entrenched in the story. There is a lot of walking around uh, and exploration, using uh, her senses to kind of figure out uh, where to go, um, you know, uh, there's um, times where you, you might be running into a fence and you have to turn around. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of walking, uh, a lot of exploration, and not a lot of interaction with the environment per se uh, that, in the way that you might be used to in, in playing an action or an adventure game. Um, now the game does really, um, again, do a great job of um, creating and, and connecting you with, uh, with Ray and uh, her lack of ability to see, um, and the one thing that I really liked is that it, it, from an emotional standpoint, the game does a great job of, um, you know, connecting the character with the player. And what I mean by that is there, there are instances where you'll, she'll hear something that frightens her, and she'll cross her arms, so you get to feel that level or that sense of vulnerability that she has, or that a, somebody who has recently lost their vision may have, um, in you know, walking around and kind of. Uh, relying on their sense of hearing um, but again uh, this, where the game falls short is really um, giving you enough to kind of keep you um, drawn into the game and keep you uh, motivated to want to play more uh, that being said uh, I give this game a 6 out of 10 and um, you know I would recommend this game if you're you know interested in you know a games where you can kind of walk around and just explore uh, if you're someone who appreciates visual uh, or the visual art um, that we often see in some games, especially in the uh, the indie games that we see these days. I feel like indie developers take kind of more of a creative or artistic chance uh, with a lot of the content or material that they put out. So, well, thank you folks for joining me today with my uh, video game review of Beyond Eyes. Uh, if you have any you know questions, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, if you want to share your thoughts, please leave those as well in the comment section. And also, um, you know, please subscribe to our to our YouTube channel as well. We're actively trying to get uh, additional content, and obviously, the more subscriptions we have, the more content uh, we can get uh, to review to you as well. So, um, also, be sure to check out our more recent podcast. Uh, my colleague Mike Mullis and I—we were almost solo. It was just us two. We're missing the rest of the Intrepid team, but uh, we'll all be back together next Tuesday. Uh, talking about uh, all the latest and greatest stuff in the gaming industry. So thank you again, folks, and remember players to game on.